I'd like to thank and congratulate Bob Myers and the Golden State Warriors organization on a truly historic run the last two seasons. It's important that you know that because it was a run that pushed Ty Lu and his coaches, Larry Drew, Jim Boylan, Mike Longabardi, Brett Brillmeyer. It pushed him and his staff. It pushed Trent Redden, Kobe Altman, and Mike Ganzi in our front office. It pushed our ownership group, our entire team, and our team behind the team, and you guys all know who you are, to find excellence and find it as quickly as possible. I think it took a team that good to force us to the brink, to force us to ignore the noise and lean on one another, to sacrifice for one another, and to find what Steve Kerr, who I once worked with, called appropriate fear. They made us come out and give everything we had. We had to be all in in order to find our collective greatness. Without them, we could not have made history by rallying for that brink and overcoming a 3-1 deficit for the first time in NBA history. So here we are, Cleveland. After 52 years, everyone here, everyone in the state of Ohio, every Cavs fan that has rocked the Q or Richfield Coliseum, every member of Wine and Gold United, you are all champions. But with that, I'd like to challenge you and some responsibility comes with this. We can no longer be the city that defines its failures by titles. The shot, the drive, the fumble, all must now be replaced by the block, the three, and the D.